Today we're out in the field with Shay Morris. Shay, good afternoon to you. Good. How are you? Doing good. How's uh, how's things going uh, with wheat harvest? Well, hopefully tonight, by the time it rains, we're done. It's been a long eight days, but we uh, got her almost done, so couldn't be any more happy about that. Yeah, I'm guessing everybody's thrilled, in, including John, that uh, today's the final day of Wheat Harvest 2024. You can see the combines out here on a, a circle, uh, wiping it out here pretty quick. Uh, Shay, what's, uh, what's the next few days look like if you guys get done today? Well, hopefully we can get the combines blown off and then hopefully the boss is in a good mood and we can get a couple days off. <laughs> okay, well you guys, you know, overall I think you got blessed with some pretty good weather. I know last week you had a few delays, um, but overall it would, what would be your take on the weather for this harvest? Well, it was good for the cutting aspect, 105 and windy, but if you're trying to spray out here, it's pretty brutal. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, uh, tonight we got a little bit of moisture coming in. They say, well, uh, we're not going to hold our breaths, but uh, what we are going to be doing uh, today with Shay and the, the crew here at Burning Farms is a couple different things. Shay is going to demonstrate the John Deere machine sink. So we've seen that uh, just a little bit on John's combine and uh, we're seeing it actually from the grain, par grain car point of view. So that'll be pretty neat. And then also we're hoping to get the combines in kind of a pattern here with the uh, grain carts unloading on a couple of combines and break out the drone and uh, get some cool aerial footage before uh, Wheat Harvest 2024 is in the books. I'm ready. Okay, so we are pulling up to Jackson, who's on a John Deere S780, and uh, we are going to show the viewers from the grain cart perspective how this John Deere uh, machine sink works. All right, Shay, you might just tell us what's going on here with the machine sink. I click my resume button on it, and uh, the combine now has full control of me. He can move me over. He can back me up, pull me forward, which is which is kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta still watch. If it malfunctions, you gotta move it. But okay, yeah, I don't do anything once I'm under the auger and going. So does he just uh, does Jackson can make some subtle tweaks on the display of 
with with these arrows right here basically what direction he wants you to be yep he just moved me three point or three foot three inches forward okay so and i mean he can move me left or right whenever he wants okay and if he slows down the combine i slow down if he speeds up i speed up okay so when he's positioning the grain within the grain cart, he's actually using the arrows to kind of evenly load you. Yep, and okay. then you can have home points. You can have three home points. Uh -huh. So he can have one set in the middle of the cart, the front, the back. Okay. So he just hits that and it automatically moves me. And that beep, is that him moving you That's again? That's moving me, yeah. Okay, very cool. Yep. And again, this is the first year you guys have demoed this technology with John Deere, is that correct? Yes, uh, yeah, it has, we haven't had it very long. Okay. We'll continue to watch here. As long as I'm in this little box right here, he has full okay. control over me. Yeah, so so literally he's 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 a uh, he's dictating everything this tractor does right now. Yep, he's down. So even if he still speeds up, I'm still connected with him. So okay. I'd be moving too. Okay, so do you actually initiate the disconnect? Yep, I just turn the steering wheel and okay. it uh, shuts the auto steer off. So. Okay, and it won't try to reconnect, correct? Nope, I have to hit this resume button and then it'll reconnect. Okay, sounds good. Alright, here we are beside Garrett and we're going to initiate the John Deere machine sync. Did it initiate? Nope, disengage. He's got the wrong one on. Go in there and shut your jig and point off. You see the straight box. This is for choppers. Silent choppers. This feature? Yeah, because you see how it's a J, they can shoot it behind you, in front of oh. you. There. Oh, nice. <laughs> now I bet it works a lot better. So you could literally move within that red yep. that red J. Yep, and the and the chopper would have Oh, okay. See, he's speeding me up now. Now, choppers traditionally, you know, dump into trucks. Would the truck have that functionality? I, I don't know how that works. I know in, like, different countries they use tractors and okay. just pull so, behind boxes. So primarily for a John Deere tractor, you know, helping with silage harvest. Yep. Now, what are all this? He's moving. He's, he is. He's moving. He's pulling me backwards. Okay. Oh, now he's pushing me forward. Now, do you ideally do you need to keep the tractor at a certain RPM or no? Nope, it fluctuates oh. everything. Okay, so you don't have any control. Yeah. So I pulled in here at 11th gear at uh, uh, 1500 RPMs, and I'm at seventh gear and okay. 1750. So this is a chance for you to get a quick bite to yeah. eat or something. Now, how did you disengage at that time? I just sped up. Okay. And it disengages okay. me. 